Hello and welcome to what will hopefully be the start of a new series. We will be looking at the rolling stock employed by each of the very franchises that we have seen over the years, past and present. Today we will be looking at the GTR or GoVio Tempting franchise and in particular their brand Southern. We will also include their predecessor Conic South Central in here as well. The other GTR brands including Garrick Express, Thameslink and Great Northern will hopefully feature in a future video. If you like what you see here and you're new to the channel, then please like and subscribe. All your support goes a long way for the channel and also helps out the Bockel Park Miniature Railway. So let's get started. We'll start with the slam doors first, and in particular the British Rail Class 421 or 4 Sig. Like with all the slam doors featured today, their age and complex history means that due to not having this video being excessively long, we will skim over with the most basic facts and perhaps exploring them in more detail another time. The British Rail Class 421s were built at BR's Holgate Road Carriage Works between 1964 and 1965 as a part of their Phase 1 build. Phase 2 units were built later between 1970 and 1972 for the Portsmouth line. These classes replaced the earlier slam door units which had been in use since the 1930s. Some units had a buffet car included which was designated 4 bigs, however these were transferred to the Southwest network or rebuilt into 4 cop units by the time Govia took over the franchise in 2001. Govia inherited all surviving Phase 1 units and 35 Phase 2 units of which only 4 Phase 1 and 8 Phase 2 units would receive the new Southern Green livery. Replacement began in 2003 with the arrival of Bombardier's Class 377s, with the last of the fleet being withdrawn on the 19th of November 2005 after working a farewell tour. Out of a once strong fleet, only two units remain in preservation, including Phase 2 Unit 1497, which is now at the Spa Valley Railway in Kent. The British Rail Class 423 or VEPS were built at York between 1967 and 1974 with some carriages being built in Derby as well. With doors found between most rows of seating these units were ideal for suburban and metro services. When Govia took over from Connix all but one unit stayed in the Connix yellow and white livery with 3514 the only one going into Southern's newer green colours. Like with the other slam doors, the 423s were also modified during their working life. 194 VOPs were created in 1998 to 1999 to increase capacity for the inner suburban or metro services through South London. Whilst in 2003, 84 VOPs were then formed into 4 VIPs by swapping one driving trailer with that from a standard unit which resulted in the reintroduction of the first class which was removed when the VOPs were first created. Along with the other slam doors, they were replaced by the Bombardier Class 377s from 2003 onwards, with the last of the fleet being withdrawn in November 2005. A few units survive to this day in preservation, including 4 VEP 3417, now owned by the Bluebell Railway and is currently undergoing restoration at Strawberry Hill Depot. Not all of this southern network was electrified and two key routes remain in the hands of DEMUs, the Uckfield branch and the Marshlink line between Ashford and Hastings. For these lines, southern inherited 10 class 205 and 4 class 207 diesel electric multiple units from Connix. Nicknamed Thumpers because of their distinctive sound, they were built by British Rail back between 1957 and 1962. These units have a long and interesting history, however they succumbed to the inevitable replacement that began to occur when their replacements, the Class 171s, arrived. The final thumpers were withdrawn in mid-December 2004, with several members of the class being preserved for future generations to come. The Class 319s were dual voltage electrical multiple units intended for use on the then North-South Rail Link which later became known as Thameslink. They were built by British Rail Engineering Limited in two batches between 1987 and 1990. 
As they were dual voltage, they could operate on the southern 750 volts DC third rail as well as under the 25 kilovolt AC overhead wires found north of the River Thames. Govia inherited 20 units of which 7 were refurbished for Connex Express services between London and Brighton. Eventually most of the fleet saw Southern's new green livery before being transferred away to Thameslink in 2008. Today, with the introduction of the Class 700s on Thameslink services, the 319 fleet can now be found working for Northern Trains and London and North Western Railway. Elsewhere, some units have been converted by adding a diesel generator to make them bimodal, and one unit has even been modified to run over hydrogen fuel. Southern may no longer use the Class 319s, but they still have life left in them elsewhere in the country. Southern operated 24 Class 456, which entered service for Network Southeast in September 1990 after being built by British Rail Engineering Limited in York. When Southern took over from Connex, only one of the 24 strong fleet had received the Connex yellow and white livery, number 456024, named Sir Cosmo Bonza, after the chairman of the Southeastern Railway. The rest of the fleet had retained their Network Southeast blue, red, white, and grey livery. Southern started repainting the fleet into their green livery from the summer of 2006, with unit 456006 receiving a vinyl wrap depicting the London skyline, promoting rail safety on the network. The fleet were transferred to Southwest Trains in 2014 to boost capacity for the Metro lines out of London Waterloo. With the loss of the South London line to London Overground and the introduction of the Class 3776 series, the fleet were now surplus to requirements anyway. They can now be found working out of London Waterloo for South Western Railway, well at least until the introduction of the Class 701s later this year. Their future after this is unknown. Briefly, between 2008 and 2009, four units of the Class 350 were subleased from London Midland to provide cover after Southern themselves subleased several 377s to First Capital Connect. This was due to delays in manufacturing of the newer 3775s for FCC. The 350 100 series were capable of dual voltage so made them ideal for the West London route through to Watford Junction. In 2009 they returned back to London Midland. This is the end of the first part looking at the rolling stock employed by Southern over the years. In the next video we'll take a look at what is actually running today as of 2021. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, or not, then I would like to hear about it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, then please like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.